in this video, let's talk about still connectors and especially this one coming up. Okay, have you ever connected your device to the sound system, to the mixer, and then realize na wala yung bass? Or worse, wala yung vocal? Uh, usually, ito pa yung nagiging problema or away between the production and the sound system, or the PA of the singer and the, uh, the sound system, you know? Um, and it stems from a connector such as this, you know? Uh, a stereo baby PL to an XLR. Or worse, uh, would be ano, um, a baby PL to a, a big stereo PL. You know, a lot of the guys uh, in the rental circuit and, and, and some installs have, um, have used this. And I've seen it. I've seen it. And unless you do it right, it's usually wrong. So let's dig right into it and I'll show you what what I mean. So, usually this is the right practice. We covered this dun sa huling video natin, di ba? Right practice would be baby PL split to a stereo uh, PL uh, uh, connector, di ba? Uh, 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 two stereo connectors, um, left, right, no? Now, we're just using this at all. Like, for us, we did this and walang unbalanced PL na available, so we just shorted that. So, that's an unbalanced PL, left, right. So usually when we play music through this, you will see, let's take um, Fever. Yeah, marling may low end nung, nung upright bass. And there's the vocals, you know, very clean, very proper. Now that's the pretty much the right way of the the right way of doing it, you know, like a and a, a rightly made connector, a rightly made connector to the right PL. That's it. So, and now we go to the problem, the scenario. Let's try first the PL, the usual. No, maramian gamit. Oh, yung galing sa headphones na sira, pinutol ginamang big uh, stereo PL. We'll connect that there. Play this. We'll play the same track. And you realize, but high hat lang yung lumalabas. Diba? Um, and then yung vocals niya parang nasa balloon siya, diba? It's like, kaya nga na iba, lumulutang yung tunog. Hindi na maintindihan, diba? Then another would be, Most common XLR, kabit jan. Okay, same track. Same thing. Na wala na yung upright bass na sound, puro hi hat lang yung tumutunog. And the uh, vocals again, parang ganun yan, sa balon siya. Okay. So, Let's dig in and I'll explain to you what's happening. So again, we go back to the properly made connector, shall we say. So the properly made connector, so diba, left, right, negative. And the way it's wired, it goes to the uh, left positive, right positive, and then yung, yung, sleeve, uh, yung sleeve goes to the the, the sleeve of the connectors. So that's the way to do it. Left, right, stereo. You bring the signal to the mixer in stereo. Alright, so kaya maayos yung tunog natin nun. And now we come to here, yung PL. So what's happening? So between the PL and the XLR, I'll start with the PL. What's happening? So on the device side, nandun tayo, left, right, negative, comma, negative. And on the Okay yon tama yon because sa device it's bringing out the signal so yung yung signal na binibigay niya tama left right la left positive right positive and and negative pero you have to understand ito na yon how this relates to the mono input connector 
diba? in the mono input connect uh, mono input line uh, line input connector ang pinning doon ang pinning doon comes out at as positive negative and ground yun na yun sa mixer Mi, uh, so meaning pag sinaksak mo to sa PL uh, doon sa input ng mixer ang nangyayari sa yung left positive mo at saka which is fine but yung right positive mo actually goes into the negative signal connection of the PL input and uh, and then of course uh, ground no but the issue there is yung uh, right positive mo pumupunta sa negative uh, uh, pumupunta sa negative pole ng input connector which means you've got one signal yung ra uh, yung left no in phase and then pinasok mo yung right signal dun sa negative which is out of phase therefore yung pag nagka-cancel out yan anything that's common to both anything any information any signal any uh, yeah uh, any information that's common to both left and right yun yung nagka-cancel out and matitira na lang ang hindi so let's say with hi hats sometimes the hi hats it's it's pan to the you know more to one side and and some vocals are panned here and there or uh, so for na, depende na sa recording yon but the fact remains any common information between left and right will cancel out and ko ano na lang yung hindi mag-cancel out yun na lang yung lalabas doon sa mixer mo with the XLR similar thing is happening so you've got left positive right positive and negative but yung mic input mo how it relates to the connector dun sa pin 3 mo okay ground yon pero sa sa pin 1 mo sa pin 1 mo left is coming in sa pin 2 mo right is coming in again put it in the connector left and right inverted yung uh, inverted yung isang signal it will cancel out so that's why Numinipis yung tunog natin pag, uh, pag when you use this type of a connector. That's why this is probably the most destructive types of connectors in our, ano, in our work. Uh, I know in, in the other videos I talked about good practice, bad practice, these are just totally wrong. You know, so, just, so I hope uh, I got that clear. So, um, I hope I hope I, I, I helped out a lot of guys clearing that issue up and we move towards better sounding systems. We work towards better, you know, making better connectors and we hope, I hope na yun nga, I get to uh, make people understand what's happening in sa situation na yun. I mean, don't worry. Nung, 70, nung, nung 80s pa nangyayari ito. So, you know, yeah, when we had uh, connectors also na Mali pagkagawa, out of phase, you know, we learn. And that's the important thing. Um, so, whereas this would be good practice, the best practice would, you know, just for you guys, uh, the best practice to use a, a, a real DI for devices, you know, just like this one. So, may baby PL siya dyan. From the device, baby PL goes out to uh, balanced outs into the mixer. You get, you go into the mic input, high headroom, high dynamic range, better control, safer, isolated. Thank you.